tonight, just hours ago, cybersecurity experts updating Congress on the troubled Obamacare website. Their diagnosis? Americans' information is still seriously at risk. Americans were led to believe that the website was safe and secure. This was simply not the case. And the uh, consistent feedback that we got was that healthcare.gov is not secure today. And nothing's really changed since the November 19th testimony. In fact, from our November 19th testimony, it's even worse. We've seen and we've heard reports of this information being corrupted. That indicates at some point the data is not being handled correctly. Could a security breach uh, of healthcare.gov uh, result in people's medical files being accessed? Yes, sir, it could. Would you feel comfortable putting your personal information in healthcare.gov? Absolutely not. Oh, boy. Morgan Wright is a security expert who was one of the experts testifying before that committee on November 19th when they first warned that healthcare.gov was vulnerable to hackers. And I want the audience to know that we already discussed in this show, if your information right. gets hacked on healthcare.gov, they don't have to tell you. They tried to submit a bill through Congress that would make them have to tell you. It's not going anywhere. The Democrats won't support it. So we do need to know how vulnerable we are when we go on healthcare.gov. Healthcare Morgan, Correct. what was the big takeaway from today? Look, the big takeaway today is who's running the show there? I mean, uh, who's the captain in charge of the Titanic at this point, I think, as everybody's running away from? Nobody's in charge. I mean, this is the gang that can't shoot straight. They can't fix the problems. And you know what? Security is not a bolt-on. It's not an after-the-fact after thing. It should have been built in from the start, but yet politics is going to trump technology and business decisions, and we're going to have to live with bad because that's what we've got right now. Can't they do patches, as they claim, to fix the problems? Patches are a tactic. Uh, they should not be a strategy. And patches are usually used when you have a stable operating system and you find a minor fault or something that needs to be fixed. But when you have a major problem and you're applying patch after patch after patch, that's an indication you've got a systemic problem in the system and not something that should be fixed with just a Band-Aid. At some point, you've got to overhaul your car engine and not just keep adding oil to it when it runs out of oil. If it's so bad, why haven't there been any major breaches yet? Because that's what the administration keeps telling us. You know, hey, look, n no one's compromised the system yet. Look, they don't know what they don't know. They haven't done a full end-to-end -end security assessment. In fact, Teresa Fryer, who testified today back in September, recommended a denial of an authorization to operate because they could not get a handle on the security issues of that site. And to date, there still has not been an end-to-end. -end. And when you're doing, as you said, Megan, patch after patch, and we're doing all these changes, how can you do an end-to-end -end security assessment of something that's changing basically every day. They have never done it, so when they say there's been no breaches, hey look, if I'm a bank robber, I'm waiting till the bank's built before I rob it. There's nothing in there that's valuable right now besides the data, but when you build the reconciliation systems, the payment systems, wait till you see the fraud happen. Mm, that's an interesting point. Morgan, thank you. You bet, Megan.